Express FC and Sports Club Villa matches used to be the talk of the town in the years gone by. Maladministration and the poor showing on the pitch has the once upon a time mighty clubs make up the numbers. Express narrowly survived relegation during the 2017-18 season, while last season it was Villa's turn to play Russian roulette with the scourge. The two old rivals still attract fans in legions, and this is expected to be the case when they lock horns at Wankulukuku on Friday. Red Eagles coach George Simogerere is adamant his club has turned the tide after the 3-2 win over Mbarara City. Now, first of all, we played with Villa a lot of time, and uh, they know where they are coming. My players are young, they like to play, they can enjoy the game. So I'm not worried about anything. Secondly, they don't, I don't expect them to go to the bars, whatever, because they are young. Some of them are still at home. So I'm expecting a very good game tomorrow and a win tonight. The express tactician says he doesn't miss defender John Revita and striker Michael Birunji, who both left the club during the off-season. Disan Galiwango, who set up a cup of goals in the road win against Mbara City, promises the Red Army fight and guts. I don't regret both of them. I found Lavita was playing eight, but I transfer him to be a number five. Now I can change anybody to play as Lavita. This time I'm not worried at all because I have Sengendo. Sengendo has scored many goals, has done the assists, doing the assists. So I don't regret anything. We are all prepared. We are ready to face the challenge tomorrow. Just we are trying to cooperate together as a team so that we can get our points. Uh, it's not a big game. It's a big game for the fans, but we players, we are ready for every game. SC Villa, meanwhile, go into the match on the back of a one all draw with Bogeyside Police FC. The Jogos, who opened their league campaign with a surprise defeat at the hands of newly promoted Chetume, found some form during a 3 1 win over Mbara City. Meanwhile, URAFC have signed a two-year partnership with Renzori Mineral Water. The deal is worth 60 million shillings and will see the club and the mineral water maker partner during training sessions and match days. URA take on Toro United tomorrow and will be boosted by the news. This is a healthy partnership for our club and players who will now have water for their refreshment and for healthy bodies to perform better in sports.